So this is one of my blinds that I've installed. It wasn't easy. Um, I'll just put the blind up, show you it going up. Like that. And then, so it all works fine, opens and closes where it's meant to. It's all working fine. I'm, I'm really pleased with it now it's installed. So I'll get to showing you where you put the screws and what you need to adjust to make the blind long enough for a new Velux window. When you get your blind, it will come with this card connected to this little bracket here. For the new Velux windows, you need to unhook that card from that bracket and make sure it pulls through. So with these cards at the bottom, make sure they both pull through evenly because I struggled with one of them on the other one. There we go. So make sure that they're both even lengths like that. And they both pull through. I'll go close up to show you. So hun hooked from here and they pull through so the now at that point B is labelled B on both sides. So you unhook from A and pull it through where it says B. That's the first thing. Right, the second thing is that the new Velux windows come with little tabs on the top for clicking blinds too. But these blinds don't click onto those tabs on the window. And the brackets that come with the blinds, you can't fit them because the, the Velux windows have the tabs. So I was trying to remove the tabs and all sorts. I, I was really struggling, thought, how do I do this? So I went and watched the video that it tell, it's Tyler has on YouTube and it shows the bloke screwing them in. And it looked like he was screwing them at the top. So I was like, how were? Anyway, after a bit of um, investigation, undoing this, loosening this tape a, a little bit, don't loosen it too much because then the blind will unfold, which happened to me, and it'll go everywhere. You just need to loosen it enough. Sorry, I know this isn't very good. I'm holding my phone in my hand as I'm doing it, sorry. Loosen it enough so you can get access to the screw holes at the top there and there. So they do put in the pack two, two longer screws. So those two longer screws go in here, each one and there. And you attach it to the actual Velux frame via those two screws, which isn't actually easy because of the angle of the windows, etc. But that's what you do. So you put it up to your frame, this side, all the, the existing little lugs that are on the Velux window. So you click those over the top and then holding hold in the actual frame in place, you get underneath and put the two long screws attached to the actual window frame. By the, and the. So I'll just go back to the one that I put up and show you. So this is the one that I've already mounted. And if you can see there, there's the screws, those screw holes that I just showed you on the other one. And I've not put that one fully in, but I was struggling and it, it's holding it in place. So you can't see it. And you make sure that it sits into your frame like that on either side 
like that. And then it's held in place. And like I said it goes over goes over the existing lugs, which I'll show you on my other window in case you're not sure what I'm talking about. And holds in place. Well then, yeah, it's on like that. And these bottom bits, again, I really struggled with these. One was long enough, one wasn't. I realised it was because I'd, I'd undone that tape that was holding the blind in place. So it was all lopsided. So anyway, with a little bit of, of uh, holding the blind up and pulling on one side, I, I, um, I got them right. But that wasn't easy, putting that on either. It comes with a tool. So the tool goes onto your little holder like that. Sorry, it's upside down. And basically, you put it against your window frame. So it puts it in the right position and then put your screw in, which I found it easier to mark on my window frame with a pencil first where the screw hole was. I then put the screw in a little bit, made the hole, put the screw in a little bit, undid it and then connected it on. So I had something to grab to. I just found that easier. This side, which was the second side I did, I found a lot harder because of the tension on this card. But don't worry, it, it needs that tension. Um, but you do have to pull down quite a bit on it um, to get it in the right position. So, yeah, it's all good. I'm pleased with it now it's in. Um, I'll show you the, the actual little bracket things on the other window that I was talking about. So those are what you actually, on both sides of the window, what you actually put it over, put it over those and then screw up into the frame here from underneath. Okay, okay, I hope this video is useful. If it has been useful for you, please like the video. It's the first one that I've done showing the instructions, so I know it's not fantastic, but I hope it's helpful. Thanks, bye.